so much spirit guides and angels to my mother and father ancestors and loved ones highest energies for the collective please highest overarching energies for the collective please hi everyone welcome to the traveling blossom tarot where adventure meets the tarot and growth is in the cards i hope this finds you well i have been um up to quite a bit if you watched my last video but i am have also been channeling with spirit and the need for us to possibly be collecting water especially if you live in any of the flood zones if you are in a high flood zone area possibly collecting water having it on hand as well as food canned food perish you know non-perishables um, I, I feel like uh, spirit is showing me a lot more flooding of um, more landslides it could be uh, we could set records is really what I'm getting we could set records this season with uh, natural disasters we could have high humidity in areas that are um, normally humid we could have um, set records with the humidity levels as well as the heat so I really feel like spirit is telling us that we're we're going to need water and we're going to want to have it available to us because some, th sometimes these natural disasters can take away the water that flows into our homes you know busted pipes those kinds of things so we're going to want to have bottled water so if you can um, get you some food safe containers and put water in that to store for drinking safe drinking uh, that would be fabulous i really just feel like that is um, something that spirit wants me to convey to you and i'm not trying to scare anybody i just want we you know i just want to help um, prepare you uh, possibly it, especially if you do live in one of these you know the high flood zones that kind of stuff so water on tap guys so what we have coming in is we have the fey number nine not everything is as it may seem be cautious dear one for there is a story beneath the tale now i feel like spirit is telling us here to um, be mindful to to be aware what's pay, pay attention to your surroundings to be aware of what's going on to um, see it in its entirety to take a step back possibly and look from you know within um, with this hermit energy number nine is the hermit energy but I feel like there's something here under the surface that that spirit is cautioning us to be mindful be aware of our surroundings um, to to see the truth because this is a uh, this energy the the astrological energy this can be energy that can really have us um, wearing some rose-colored glasses so I feel like here spirit is saying to um, see things you know step back step back and see it as it truly is um, and to when you see something believe it you know it's um, believe what you're what you are are experiencing believe what you see because trust it is what I'm saying so like um, trust your intuition trust yourself trust what you're seeing believe in what you're seeing um, because there's something there beneath the story there is something there beneath the story spirit is saying something beneath the story so let's dive in let's see what else the cards have to say tell us more spirit sorry about the shake guys i'm sitting outside and i'm using this little um well it's a little bit older <laughs> um hand built table <laughs> okay this card fell out <clears throat> seven of coins so at the heart of the matter the seven of coins we are um, persisting through we are oops i'm so sorry again we are going for it we're continuing we're working towards something we're working hard um we're we're seeing our manifestations pay off right because we've continued to work for it the work has been steady slow and steady pinnacles are slower so it's been slow and steady growth but look at how much it's building we're we're finding this success up this ladder so there's more beneath the story could this be that we're not seeing how much we have how abundantly blessed we are how our hard work is paying off could it be that 
for some of us possibly but this is um spirit is saying you know see your triumph see your successes see your hard work paying off it is coming into fruition this is also um seven of pentacles this is uh, about patience finding patience and um continuing to work through we have the queen of swords crossing us now this is also the seven of Pen um, seven of pentacles is also about manifesting ideas and manifesting um coin and manifesting resources right so i feel like spirit is saying at the heart of the matter we are um, working to manifest resources for ourselves um and there's more underneath the surface. There's more than meets the eye. There's more than what we see, right? With that fake coming out. And then we have those manifesting ideas, manifesting resources being crossed by the Queen of Swords. We're seeing it with clarity. We are in clear mind. We're in clear manifestation mode is what I'm hearing. Like we're in clear manifestation mode. We know exactly what we need. We know exactly what we um, desire. And we are clear and concise about it we um, have that clarity with that queen of queen of swords we're being honest we're seeing the truth we we have it we're um, yeah we're starting to see when we keep going we keep going we're starting to see it pay off this is really beautiful okay what about the recent past spirit recent past recent past we've had the six of coins so there may have been a lot of um, shared resources or something so for some of you this could be about um, going off and finding your own stability maybe you were in some sort of partnership whether it be a work relationship or other but maybe you were in some kind of partnership where you had shared resources where there was a balance a harmony we have the six of coins coming in here charitable giving shared um, wealth right so some of you could even be coming out of relationships coming out of divorces coming out of partnerships however it plays out in your life you know um but you're you haven't given up no matter what you see what you want and you're going for it and this is like uh, in the recent past we have the six of pentacles but at the heart at the present moment we have the seven of pentacles so we've gone from a place of you know shared resources and generosity and stuff and we've learned from that and we've been able to possibly even um take some of those shared resources and start putting it towards something um different something building something bigger different better a new idea something you know clearer more concise um a better understanding okay and what is crowning us spirit what is crowning us what is crowning us oh wow that was kind of smacked together um I, I I don't know if that's an indication of possibly um, uh, people coming and smacking together, heads smacking together. You know, I kind of get that energy. Um, you may, uh, it could be an indication that Spirit is saying, you know, you, you we might start butting heads, um, remain clear. We might start butting heads. We have the Knight of Wands coming out with the King or the Queen of Cups. So um, this is about following your intuition, letting your spirit guide you. The, the uh, Knight of Wands, you know, it's a free spirit. This person is a risk taker, a dreamer. This person goes after it. The Queen of Cups, very intuitive, emotionally um, sound. So this is about f uh, really going after your dreams and following your intuition, taking those risks, allowing your intuition to guide you and guide your spirit and that is what is crowning us up here we're rather fearless right now that um that fearlessness is uh really coming out with that night that night very fearless let me see if i can show you i mean look at this they're reaching out to take a, like a um a tiger cub cat from the from the tree that's pretty fearless right because because that could be rather dangerous so you're following your intuition and you're allowing your um your your guidance system your inner guidance system to lead the way and so therefore you know when you reach out 
to um, help a tiger, help a cat, help something like that, that you're not going to get hurt by it. You're not going to get stung by it. You're not going to get bit. You're going to be okay and you understand this. And that's really what is, that's really what is um, over top of us right now. How are we feeling about this? How are we feeling, spirit? How are we feeling? There's so much under this, uh, the surface to this story, right? Spirit was talking about this. Oh my gosh, look at this. We have the lovers coming out. We are feeling really good about this. We're feeling really positive. We're feeling good about the connection, the um, the, co the communication, the idea, the plan, whatever it may be, the contract. This is the lover's card. So this is about contracts and, and uh, decisions, but it's about kindred spirits. So we're working with others. We're, we're, uh, there's a lot of collaboration. We've been talking about that too for um, the last year. Um, we've been talking about collaborating more. We are more team players these days. We're working together more easily. And a lot of that is because we're actually allowing each other to um, share our truths, right? Queen of Swords stands in her truth. She stands her ground. So we're allowing ourselves to share our truths and um, working with kindred spirits. Those are coming in. We're feeling really, really good. There's a lot of desire for whatever this is that we are working towards. There's a lot of desire in this. Um, uh, so yeah, feeling really, really strongly about this. Um, all right, spirit. Oh, okay. Ooh. Hope, dreams, and fears. No, no, I'm sorry. Not hope, dreams, and fears. My goodness. The advice. The advice from um, Spirit that's coming out here is the two of coins. We're going to get a little bit more into that. But basically, um, this is about being mindful, balancing out your checkbook, uh, s making sure that you know where your resources are going, where they're at. Um, setting priorities, coming up with plans, you know, meeting those deadlines, that kind of stuff. So Spirit is saying uh, to balance that out, to come up with those plans, to write those down, to make sure you're balancing your checkbook, make sure your bills are paid on time, make sure you're paying them before the due date, that kind of stuff. Your priorities, finding balance in, in all of this. Um, managing you know your resources your money because there, it seems to be that there's going to be some coming in very soon it, it looks like you know with the seven of pentacles right there at the heart of the matter it looks like there's going to be some growth and stability there in the resources the finances so this is about managing those resources to the utmost right um, to the utmost external influences we have the six of cups coming in for the external influences so um uh, excuse me. I'm so sorry about the noise. Um, so the Six of Cups coming in, so uh, the external influences. We could be um, thinking back. We could be reflecting back and possibly even gaining insight from thinking back. Gaining insight from um, old friends. Um, childhood memories, that kind of stuff. These are the external influences. Right now, this energy is pretty strong. Uh, there's a lot of reflection, reflecting back to older times when things were a little bit simpler. Um, there's a lot of overwhelm in the collective these days. You know, everybody is so tired of trying to meet those deadlines, meet those due dates, meet those car payments. I mean, my goodness, have you guys bought a car recently? <sighs> right it's crazy so so there's a lot of differences there's a lot of differences and I feel like that um, this is you know possibly even gaining insight from from people from your childhood um, parents uh, grandparents that kind of stuff how did they do things how how did they do it and then you take that information that insight that you you receive and you incorporate it into your new modern lifestyle right so so I feel like externally we have people from the past our friends our family those kinds of things people that we really deeply care about that we trust um, that are coming in to help us too as far as the external influences hopes dreams and fears spirit hope dreams and fears hopes dreams and fears 
Okay, so we we might have to communicate a little more about our hopes, dreams, and fears because, as you know, if you follow my channel, whoo, yay! <laughs> if you follow my channel, um, when the cards go quiet, it's you know, it's because there's something being left out, not said. No, no, Bubby, <laughs> master. Um, but coming in on our hopes, dreams, and fears, we have the world coming in. We're hoping to finish up some cycles. We're hoping to leave some things behind. We're hoping to start some new ch chapters and lay some new layers, some new roots down possibly um, to start, build something new. We're ready. We're ready for a completion. And um, spirit, what's the potential outcome and the future, please? Potential outcome and the future. Potential outcome. What's a potential outcome? Hope, dreams, and fears. Yeah, you're definitely ready to um, have this this uh, new beginning. You're ready to finish this cycle of, I feel like there was a cycle of lack or something. So you're ready to finish this and to start seeing more. To have that stability, to have that, um, you know, independence. To find your independence. Okay, so the potential outcome, we have the Nine of Cups coming in with the Seven, cord, seven of Swords, Seven Chords, I don't know, <laughs> maybe all. Piano? I don't know. Seven Chords. But um, yeah, we have the Nine of Cups coming in with the Seven of Swords. And um, this is about, you know, wish fulfillment and satisfaction, abundance. The Seven of Swords is typically or can be about cheating and those kinds of things, but that's not the energy here. The energy here is also about the Seven of Swords of trying to figure out a different way. So I feel like right here is you've, you've, you may decide on a different way to get you to your emotional fulfillment, to where you want to be, to where you're going. You may start looking at different ways because you're gaining insight and you're taking this insight from this wisdom from people of the past, from childhood people, you know, grandparents, that kind of stuff. And so with that, you're able to come up with a different way to find, to obtain your emotional fulfillment, your happiness, right? So that's actually very, very beautiful. Beautiful. Um, Spirit, what about the future? What about the future? Oh. Okay. In the future, you're going to find yourself at this crossroads, and that's that's where this um, you're going to decide to go about this differently. You're going to come up on this crossroads, and um, you're you're going to look at it. You're going to look forward. You're going to look sideways. You're going to look all four ways, right? Like crossing the street. You're going to look all four ways. You're going to look in front of you, behind you, side to side. And this right here, this crossroads, is what is going to pivot your life and help you come up with a different route, a different way to get to your emotional stability, to your emotional happiness, to the abundance, to the life that you are choosing for yourself. Look on the bottom, the wheel of fortune, to find your fortune, to find your luck, to find your place, your um, where you want to be, right? This is so beautiful, guys. I really love this. Um, if you're resonating with it, please let me know. Let's get a little more. All right, Spirit. A little more, please. Anything else? Anything else? Again, guys, I do apologize for the noise. It's just such a beautiful um, day out, even with the rain. Um, you know, I've been in Alaska, so it's been cold, so it's nice to sit out in the warmth and all of that. So I hope that um, you can bear with the noise. And enjoy the message otherwise. And if you are enjoying the message, if it is resonating with you, please do um, subscribe to my channel. I would deeply appreciate that. There's lots of things going on here. The Traveling Blossom Tarot, it's more than just about the tarot. It's life, love, and tarot, and we're looking at it all. So <laughs> stick around. All right. Anything else, Spirit? Anything else? Okay, I'll go one more time. If nothing comes out, we'll go on to the next um, card. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Okay, now they want to talk. <laughs> now they want to talk. Yes, my loves, now they want to talk. And 
We have four cards that came out. And again, I apologize for the shaking and all that. We have four cards that came out, and that is about, you know, the emperor energy. It's also the fourth house energy. So this could be about your state, your stability, your foundation, which is what we've been talking about here. But three of them are face down. One is face up. True love. True love appears when you least expect it. So if this is what you're aiming toward, if um, those of you that are resonating with the message, if you're hoping for true love, Spirit wants you to know that true love will appear when you least expect it. When you're not searching for it anymore, when you just give up the search and allow the desires and allow the manifestations to come to you, right? When you just trust and believe. What else do we have, Spirit? Challenge. All true soul connections involve challenges that can be overcome together. So Spirit wants to remind us that in all that we do, all of our connections, we're going to have challenges. We're going to have ups and downs. It's the ups and downs, the challenges uh, that, that actually um, uh, that make the love and the, and, and the connection and all that so much more worthwhile, right? It really does. Um, oh, some of you could be getting married. Uh, this is this is wild. We have the marriage con card coming out. The marriage of souls is the union of two divine components. So definitely could be leveling up in our contracts, whether it's job, career, love, or um, otherwise. But I do feel this is really starting um, to be about the foundation and the foundation of your home your life it does include love it, it includes connections whether those connections are with uh, mothers and daughters and children and grandchildren or, or husbands and wives whatever it is right however it plays out in your life and then we have link the bond of love grows stronger over time wow Again, we started with the Seven of Pentacles, and that was what Spirit was taking me to just now, to remember to have that patience, to allow things time to grow, because that is going to um, just be amazing for you when you do. This, the bond of love grows stronger over time. So put that energy into your foundation, nurture it with love, and give it give it that energy, and over time you'll see it's going to be truly amazing. I just saw 22.33 on the clock, so I just want to note that um, twos and threes could be significant because they're really, really showing me that 22.33. Those are both master numbers too. Um, you might possibly want to look those up if you resonate or you've been seeing those numbers or you start seeing those numbers. You might want to see how they are playing out in your life. What else, Spirit? What else? What else, Spirit? Thank you. Now, this came in reverse, and I don't typically um, read them in reverse, but I just want to note that it did come in reverse. It says, Evil Queen, you deserve sugar, not salt. So I feel like Spirit wants to remind you um, not to be so hard on yourself. Allow yourself time. Um, allow yourself to taste the sweetness of life, right? You deserve sugar, not salt. So sweetness not honey or not vinegar right use a little more um sugar is what i'm getting at wow spirit help me out here number two contracts so um a little more tenderness i think with the contracts especially when you're in negotiations and things like that when you're communicating you know how you're feeling those kinds of things no um whether it's work related or or you know your your spouse your significant uh, I feel like Spirit is saying, add a little more sugar, a little less salt, and um, that's going to that's gonna help a lot of stuff, right? A lot of stuff. So, uh, beautiful message. All right, Spirit, what should we be mindful of as we go through this? What should we be mindful of as we go through this, Spirit? Oh. What should we be mindful of? The birds sound amazing today. They've been sounding so beautiful lately. I hope you can hear the birds. I can certainly hear everything else. 
Thank you, Spirit. What should we... Okay, I feel like they want that card. They're really trying to shove it out there. Thank you. Be extra good to yourself. Spirit is telling me to be extra good to yourself. Take care of yourself. This is um, a time where... Um, Care and nurture is very, very important with that. Uh, you deserve sugar, not salt. Uh, make sure you're taking care of your body, drinking lots of water, eating foods that are good for you, doing things that are good for you, um, listening to things that are good for you. What are you feeding yourself? That kind of energy. It's very important that you do this, okay? And believe in yourself. Believe that you are enough. I am enough. I am beautiful just as I am. I am loved just as I am. I am worthy just by being me. I don't need to fit in. I just need to be myself and the right people will come into my life. Those who see and appreciate me for all that I am. You are enough. The right people are going to start coming into your life for sure. Beautiful. Next we have dance it out. So get up and do those good things for yourself. Dance in that body. You know, move that body. Woo -hoo -hoo, get it going, okay? Um, I can move emotions through my body by dancing. Whenever I start to feel built up energy or crankiness, I will play some music and move intuitively. I don't have to look a certain way. Simply move and feel as the stress and heaviness or heaviness begins to ease out of my body and just doing that you know you can you can feel the change so just just moving your body is very very important right now and getting that water again and if you are in those high flood zones please do stock up on water and food and those things so that you'll be more prepared for this season of flooding and my heart goes out to you I'm praying for all of you. All right, guys, I'm going to get going. This concludes your reading. I hope that you've enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please think about subscribing to my channel. I would love to have you here. I'm going to start putting out videos of the build of my cabin. So that's going to be really exciting. And it's pretty big deal because it's, it's taking place a year earlier. And I have some amazing friends that are going to help me out with that. And, uh, you know, uh, my my friend's husband believes he can do it for less than three thousand dollars. So that's going to be quite exciting to see if he can um, do this. And I, I believe he can. I really do. I, I trust and believe in him. So lots of things are going to be, you know, coming out on the channel. It's going to be a lot more than just tarot. But these are all the things that I love. And I hope that you love them, too, and that we can continue to grow and share them together. So. I'm going to get going. Until next time, take great care of yourself. And as always, may your love and kindness boomerang back to you. Bye-bye.